everybody and welcome to another Railway Walk video. You, today you're joining me on the Welbeck Colliery branch in Nottinghamshire and it is severely overgrown. Now, this has been closed since 2010. Towards that direction we've got Welbeck Colliery Junction. As you can see there's, there's no way through, it's totally overgrown. And looking in that direction we're about 50 metres up from the main road through Market Warsop and the rails are still down it's double track at this point so we'll carry on as far as we can go i'm not sure how far we will get because this is this is a jungle and i'll see you a bit further down so this is the overbridge and on one side it's forest road and looking over the other side, it turns into Sherwood Street. And there's the view looking back towards Clipston. If we clamber over the rails, we'll see the view towards Warsop. So let's battle on and see what's next. So not far down the line, we've still got what would have been for the telephone. No phone there though. We've got signal CJ221. And then we've got the, what I think was the run round signal. So I believe this was double tracks just here for the locomotive run round. So this is the junction for the run round. Point still in situ. Oh. Uh, you can still see the electronic boxes just through there. It's a bit too tough to get to. So we'll wander around here. It's like a dead end that way. We'll cross the points without falling over. And we'll carry on down this side. the remains of another telephone There's another signal up there can't 
see a number for that one. But there's no ladder either, so, so we won't be having a closer look at that one. There's another signal further down. Again, this one is also without a ladder. So that's the closest we're going to get to that one. It does have a number on it. OJ220 and also another telephone which I'm expecting it to be an empty box. Yeah, looks like that's been burnt out. Right, the track's getting a bit clearer thankfully. So let's continue on down. So next up is Top Sandy Lane Crossing. So we've just come from that way. So we've gone in this direction. We're heading in that direction. So that way is farm access. That'll take you back down to Church Warsop. So that is the first crossing of two, I believe, on this route. Now we're coming up to an overbridge. So I'll see you when we get down there. So approaching this bridge we're getting a little bit more overgrown again so that's where we've just come from top sandy lane crossings about a quarter of a mile up there so this bridge again to the right it would take you to farm access to the left it would be cherry grove and back in towards warsop church warsop probably have a scramble up here to see what we've got at the top so it made it up so we scrambled up the side there and we're on top of the bridge so yeah that's the road back down to warsop looking over there again there's a view from where we've just come from crossing over to the other side looking reasonably clear the direction we're going to and then welbeck colliery site can be seen in the distance very far distance I made it down without getting nettled to death. We make our way through this narrow overgrown section. And then it looks like it's going to open up again after we get out of here. Brilliant, that's a lot better.
footbridge on the line. It appears to be a footpath going towards Clipston and Edwinstow and a forestry area. There's a bridge number. And again on that side, it's another footpath. And this looks pretty difficult to get through. Whoa. Bloody hell. But yeah, I mean that looks as flat as a railway line, whether it actually ever was. No, on the other side actually no. It's a bit of an incline. I'd say not. It's it, it's gone again. It's just turned into a jungle again. So we'll have a battle on. And I'll talk to you at the next point of interest. So a lot of this, it reminds me of um a recent walk did on the Frygate line between Ilkeston and Bredzel near Derby. Uh, I did that in March and that was severely overgrown, which you'd imagine it would be like that for nearly 60 years out of use. Now this is just shy of nine years and it's an absolute jungle. You'd have thought this would be closed a hell of a lot longer. Yeah, I appreciate that nature does take over. Wow, I mean, I've walked down some recently, such as the Bevercoats, and that's been closed for a lot longer than this. Track lifted and everything, and that was that was easier to get down, ten times easier. Right, let's carry on. This is bridge number four. It's only a little one. It's farm access again. Farmland to the right. Down to Warsaw to the left. Let's proceed on. there's a bit of a camber and it is relatively clear down here so I'm pleased with that so let's follow this curve around it's probably still well well over a mile to go yet even though it seems like it's just around the corner there's another bridge coming up past these trees as well So the banking on the railway is pretty steep right now. We're coming up to the next bridge. This will be the fifth bridge along the route. It's Broom Hill Lane. Going that way, again it'd be more farm access and connecting roads. And going that way, it'd take you towards Meadham Vale and also Warsaw.
So back when the colliery was opened in 1912, this was not the branch that served the colliery. Now there was originally a branch from Shirebrook North Junction through to Welbeck Colliery. And this operated right through until closure in 1959. Now the branch we're currently uh, walking along was opened in 1929 and Welbeck Colliery was dual served right up until 1959 where this branch then continued on right through till closure in 2010. There was of course also the signal box at Welbeck Junction. Now this was taken out of use in 1997 and any work was transferred up to Clipston, a couple of miles further up the line. The junction was also relayed around 1974. It was originally a double track entrance to the branch and around that time it was converted to a single track entrance. It's gotten pretty bad right now. This is really, really by far the worst it's been since I started walking down here. The rails are still there. I believe the rails will be there all the way, to be honest. Well, made it through. Got a bit of a better way forward at the minute, but that was nasty. But there's no way I was turning back. second foot crossing on the line just primarily farm access that's all it is there's a notable speed restriction of 30 mile an hour in both directions but I definitely would not be walking that fast today Bridge number six, that's another spot of farm access. Doesn't look very widely used. Looks barely used to be honest. There's the bridge number. We're now coming up to the River Eden. A short while from here. Here's the next bridge, this is bridge number eight. Below it is Neverfield Lane. There's the bridge number. So that way towards Meadham Vale. And on the other side, we'll take you to Budby and Forsby Park. Let's continue on.
So it looks like we're coming up to as far as we can go, at least at this point. We've still got the track down, but we've got security fencing coming up. And I ain't messing about with that. Obviously that's going on to the old colliery site. And there's gonna be all sorts of developments going off there that we're not gonna interfere with. There it is, yep. Yeah. Now there is a footpath down there, which could be a bit of a get out of jail free card. Hopefully I can take it up through the fields and get to the other side of the side. That would make a huge difference. Okay, let's get on the foot. I'll get on the footpath and see where we can pick it up. quick wander down the footpath and there was another path which brought me up to here. We've now got ourselves onto the set of points which would have been used on the colliery site for the coal workings. We'll go a little bit further up. I'm not banking on actually getting much further because we are approaching the site for the development. There's another broken down fence. So I'll push on a little bit, see where we can get to. So as I mentioned previously, the colliery opened in 1912. Its last day of production was the 11th of May 2010. So it's just shy of 100 years working life at 98. And the final working along this branch would have been within a few months after that, if not sooner. So the track split into three back there. One of them has now disappeared. But the one on the right is concrete sleepers, the one on the left is wooden. And we're on quite a curve. as far as we're going to get the rails have just about gone it's building heavy machinery so it makes us way back to I think previous road and walk around to the other side right so today we've walked along the Welbeck Colliery branch all the way from Welbeck Colliery Junction right up to the site of uh, the colliery site now I did mention previously that was the second line to be built and after leaving the branch and the colliery site, I walked around Meadham Vale, Church Warsop, towards Never Langworth. And here we have the embankment to the original branch. Now, I've got to find an easier way of getting up. But this is the one that closed. It's the original branch and it closed back in 1959. Now, if we walk back round to the road, the bridge supports are still standing and we'll see if I can get to the other side as well. So it looks like there's quite a bit to explore providing we can get up there. So this is Wood Lane heading towards Neverlangworth. 
and there's the support walls for the bridge over the road which has been closed since 1959 right so I've made it up this is the Welbeck colliery side as you can see there's no chance there's no way you're going through there but going along here a little way the line heads towards Shirebrook and it looks like we'll be able to walk a little way down there so we're not really missing much going that way it's just going to take us the A60 probably would have been about a five minute walk you, you'd need ooh, protective clothing going through there let's get back down so I'm now up on the other side so there's the road again down there. That'll take you back to Church Warsaw, so that's where we just stood. This side, it's all been chopped down. It was recent, last, last few months. Trees have gone. I mean, it's not ideal to walk on, but it's 100% better than the other side. So that is where we just come from. So it's a bit of an incline, but heading towards that way, we'd get the A60 and then Welbeck Colliery. There's the track bed right in front of us. Now I'm walking on this track next to it because it's a hell of a lot easier. And eventually, this would lead to Shirebrook North Junction on the Nottingham to Worksop line. So a short way down now. So there's the track bed right behind that tree in the centre of the three of them. And we're going to walk along the old track bed now. It's still quite a descent. I can see it visually and I can feel it. I just realised this is actually the longest abandoned railway I've yet to walk. The previous out of use line was the Frygate line between Ilkeston and Brazil, Derby. That closed in the 60s. This one closed in 1959, so that's 60 years. So that's officially the most out of use in terms of time scale that I've actually explored so far. So we're probably about half a mile down the line now. We've left the previous dirt track behind. That's down there. We're on quite an embankment. It's very high up at this point, but it's quite a nice surface to walk on. Which is, yeah, that's pretty good for something that's been gone for 60 years. It's clearly someone's made an effort to keep it accessible for one reason or another. There's not, I've not seen anything historical railway related down here so far, so it's, it's pretty much all gone. If I find something, I'll show you. And hopefully we can get all the way to the other end at Shirebrook North. So the path I was walking on is down there. It's veered off from the track bed. This is now the track bed again. It's looking a bit impossible. So I'll go back down to the path. Hopefully it'll follow alongside it and we can still get to the other end. Here we are, found something. It's an old drain. I thought it'd be absolutely full of um, weeds and wood by now, but no, just a few beer cans. Okay, getting close to Shirebrook, not far now. Oh, there we go, what's this? It's facing the wrong way, but yeah, bit of a sleeper. Right, let's crack on. Oh, there's another bit. 
I was expecting not to find a single thing down here. Keep your eyes open, it's there. Excellent. That's the thing I like best about doing these um, walks. It's just minimal planning, just enough to give over a bit of information, the history of the place, the location, when it opened, when it closed. The rest of it, just turn up and, you know, surprise yourself. I hate knowing what I'm going to find. The best thing is like back there at them sleepers. It might just be the smallest thing, but you know, it was a nice surprise, a nice little touch on something that's been abandoned for 60 years. So we've now come alongside the track bed again. So that's, that's that little embankment there. So the last five minutes I've been walking along this path right next to it, but that's too overgrown to walk it. But it's, this path's ideal. There's no point struggling through there when this is here. Looks like we can get back up on there, to be honest, and have a quick look. So yeah, just, just scurried up there. There's the track bed again. And we've crossed over to the other side. So that line of trees there, again, is the track bed and also is this dirt track. Very, very close to Shirebrook now. Right, so I've made it this far. I think that's the way we're going to have to go up there. But before we do, there's what appears to be just there. A bridge support wall. And there's one on the other side. It looks no wider than a, a footbridge or something you could probably take cattle over. So we'll get up these steps and it should take us round to Shirebrook Junction, hopefully. So from coming up from the cutting and these steps, the course of the line follows that row of trees and bushes. A bit further along is the line, that's where it joins onto the Nottingham to Workshop line. So we'll go through this field. I'm not going to traipse through a farmer's crops. And it should lead us to a track which will take us to a footbridge over the line. So that's where I've just come from. There's the track bed, that line of trees. You take that all the way back to Church Warsop and Welbeck. Continuing along this field, and I've got to end up over there, right at the junction. Right, that's about it for today. This is where I am. There's the line towards Warsop, Edwinstow, High Marnham Test Track, or part of it anyway. It's one part of the junction. And over this side, here it is where it will join onto the Nottingham to Worksop line. So you enjoyed this video. It's been quite an experience for myself, exploring both of these lines to the same colliery. Uh, coming up, we've got more from the Grantham Canal got the GNR and LNWR line coming up soon from Bingham through Melton Mowbray all the way to Leicester. That'll probably be a two or three parter but it includes a very long tunnel and also a viaduct. I think it's the John O'Gorn. So yeah if you like it give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe for you to enjoy more. Thank you very much for watching bye bye.
Thank you.